Well, there's a family in Citrus Heights that's taking their love for Halloween and putting it on display for the neighborhood. Yes, and Sacra Gray is live this morning with that family who has turned the house into an amazing <laughs> spooky display complete with a margarita bar. Okay, well, right now we're at the dance floor because the Simpson family sure knows how to get down. I mean, check out the dance moves from Jake and Ryan. Oh, but everybody else on the dance floor looks a little dead. Okay, you two. So we're taking a Simpson. We got heads falling on the ground too. Hey, everybody's dead around here. And the front yard of the Simpson family is nothing like you've ever seen before. All right, you two, you helped put on this crazy front yard decoration. What was the process like? Uh, it was like tons of work. It was super fun. It was super fun. You guys are pretty creative. I mean, there's not a lot of houses I see that have a monster mash dance floor basically all right yeah. so tell us what your job in all of this was uh, mine was building all of it having fun with my family putting up lights and everything hey i like it okay so we we just danced it all out on the dance floor you know what that made me a little tired guys come on let's head on over to the bar you guys are what like 12 that's okay we're just drinking eyeballs over here okay he's 14 Still not legal, but we're heading on over to the bar. So we've got mom and dad over here with the Simpsons are making me an eyeball margarita. How's it going, guys? It's great. Thank you for coming. Okay, so this bar is the latest addition to your front yard masterpiece. Tell us a little bit about what this you know, front yard decoration setup means to you guys and why you guys go all out every year. Uh, we like to do it for the fun, for the neighborhood, for the kids, anybody that comes by and likes Halloween. Okay, so how did we put this bar together? I mean, down to the skeletons, check this out. They thrifted a bunch of this stuff because a lot of people can get lost in buying all the Halloween decorations and end up spending thousands and thousands of dollars, but you do it on a budget, right? We do. We uh, started on Facebook Marketplace, found some bar stools, Found some reclaimed wood out in um, Granite Bay. So we took a little trip with the kids, picked up the stools and the wood, and then we found some pallets and created the bar. Okay, and this is the ultimate family bonding activity, right? Because you guys all work as a team to put this together. So when you finally saw the end result, what was that like for you? It was great. It was great. It looked, yeah, it looked awesome. What was everybody's reaction from the neighborhood so far? So far, we've had a lot of compliments about it. People like to come and take pictures up here, stop by, knock on our door, and ask us about the process like you did. You know, where, how do we do it? What, what was the motive behind it? Yeah. Like Lisa said earlier, you know, it creates excitement for the neighborhood. The kids like it. People drive by, you know, and there's no lights on, but then you come by our house and it's just lit up. And, you know. Yeah, I've got to say, we're seeing it during the daytime right now, but it looks even crazier and cooler in the nighttime. I mean, take a look at how big this front yard is. So in just a bit, we're going to actually introduce you to what they have is a good day tradition. That's right. They've had us visit them for quite a few years now. So they have a little tradition that they do with all the good day reporters when they come on by. So I'm going to check that out in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. We have plenty of good day coming up right after the break.